Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to find the S domain equivalent of a capacitor. Remember, we have a capacitor here, we have a current flowing towards the capacitor, charge building up on the plates, and that ends up with a voltage difference across the plates. The voltage across the plates will be equal to 1 over the capacitance times the integral of I times dt. Let's call the current towards the capacitor, of course not through the capacitor because current doesn't flow through the capacitor, effectively it does, but uh, let's call it equal to the cosine of omega t, and remember that the reactance of a capacitor in the time domain is 1 over 2 pi fc or 1 over omega c, omega of course being in radians per second. So let's find the current, let's plug in the cosine of omega t, and then let's find the voltage which is equal to 1 over c times the integral of the cosine of omega t times dt, and that would be equal to 1 over, now let's see here, the derivative of the sine is the cosine, the integral of the cosine is the positive sine, so we have 1 over omega times c, because we need the proper differential, times the quantity, the sine of omega t, and of course, we're integrating these from 0 to t, so we end up with 0 to t, which is simply going to be equal to 1 over omega c times the sine of omega t, because when we plug in 0, we get 0, we plug in t, we get t. So that's the voltage across the capacitor in the time domain. Now we want to find the Laplace transform. So we're going to take the voltage in the frequency domain, which is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st times the function of time, in this case I'll be times v of t dt, and of course in this case that's going to be equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st, and the voltage is going to be 1 over omega c times the sine of omega t times dt. Of course, we can take the 1 over omega c, take it outside the integral sign, so this is equal to 1 over omega times c times the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st times the sine of omega t dt. In the previous videos, we already showed you how to find that, how to take that integral, but We'll just take it easy here, we'll come up here, we can say that the Laplace transform of the sine of omega t, which is the function here, is omega divided by s squared over omega squared. So this can be written as 1 over omega times c times the quantity omega divided by s squared plus omega squared. Like that. And of course, simplifying that, we can say that this cannot be written as omegas will cancel out, we have 1 over c times the quantity 1 over s squared plus omega squared. Now we're going to do this again, but instead of finding v of s, the voltage across the capacitor in the frequency domain, we're now going to find the current, i sub s. And this is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to infinity, of e to the minus st, and that will be the function, the current with respect to time, which we said was the cosine of omega t, so times the cosine of omega t dt. And again, we know that the integral of this can be found by coming over here and realizing that this can be written as s over s squared plus omega squared. So this can be written as s over s squared plus omega squared, and now we have the expression for the voltage across the capacitor and the current through the capacitor, basically through the capacitor, in the frequency domain. So now what we're going to do again is we're going to say that, the, that with Ohm's law that I is equal to V over the reactance across the capacitor, or if we solve that for the reactance, the reactance across the capacitor can be written as V over I. So let's take the voltage in the frequency domain and divided by the current in the frequency domain. So here we can say that this is equal to 1 over c times 1 over s squared plus omega squared divided by i, which we have over here, which is s divided by s squared plus omega squared. Notice that the 1 over s squared plus omega squared cancels out, and 1 over c 
divided by s can be written as 1 over s times c. So what we can see here is that the capacitive reactants in the frequency domain, the complex frequency domain, can be written as 1 over s times c. And if you compare that to, where did I have it right here? Oh, here it is. If you compare that to the reactants of a capacitor in the time domain, again, look at the similarities in the equation. Here we have frequency, here we have the complex S. Remember again that S is equal to sigma plus J omega. And now you can see how to find the reactants for the capacitor in the frequency domain, as well as we found the, react the reactants of the inductor in the frequency domain in the previous video. And that's how it's done.